Joe Biden is officially running for president in 2024. Donald Trump says Biden is the worst president the country has ever had. Tucker Carlson hires the top media lawyer in the country, and Ukraine nearly started World War III with a surprise attack on Moscow that the CIA and Pentagon were able to cancel. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. It really helps me out. At the end of this, I'll tell you how you could win up to $10,000 in cash. President Joe Biden has revealed that he will be seeking re-election in 2024, despite being 80 years old. In his highly edited video posted on Twitter, which emphasized his support for abortion rights and criticized his opponent, in the video, Biden accused MAGA extremists of jeopardizing fundamental freedoms, including Social Security, which he claimed they intend to cut while granting tax cuts to the wealthy. So Biden's campaign will mostly be centered on keeping women's rights to abort babies and MAGA Republicans stealing your freedoms. However, Trump has already stated that this will that he will not allow any changes to Social Security should he win, exposing the lack of transparency in Biden's statements. Additionally, former President Barack Obama once again endorsed Biden's campaign due to his achievements, but then failed to specifically say anything he had achieved. Former President Donald Trump also immediately responded to this announcement by stating, thanks to Joe Biden's socialist spending calamity, American families are being decimated by the worst inflation in half a century. Banks are failing, our currency is crashing, and the U.S. dollar will no longer be the world standard, which will be our greatest defeat in over 200 years. Real wages have been falling 24 months in a row. In other words, under Biden, workers have gotten a pay cut each and every month for two years straight. We have surrendered our energy independence, just like we surrendered in Afghanistan, which we had just a short time ago, and the price of gasoline just hit a five-month high, and it's going much higher than that. Now, I had to fact-check the former president on the 24 months of real wage decreases, and sadly, he was right. Americans' real wages have fallen 24 months in a row because of inflation. Uh, how is it that our government continues to fund a war most of the country doesn't agree with and spend more money than they've ever spent, and yet people are worse off than they've ever been. It, it, it makes no sense, right? Presidential candidate Nikki Haley said Biden is a failure of a president. So basically people were jumping in, praising Biden and, and heaping uh, criticism on Biden. The two American media titans who were simultaneously fired yesterday, Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon, have both hired the same media lawyer. The man they hired is California's Brian Freedom, who has a track record for obtaining exit settlements for big name hosts. But this is likely not the end of Tucker's career. For example, one American News founder, Robert Herring, has already offered Tucker Carlson a $25 million contract to join their news network. Fox stock has now dropped over a billion dollars since Tucker was fired. Uh, my guess is Tucker was significantly more valuable to the network than Fox would have ever guessed. Now, speaking of big drops, Budweiser sales are down 17% since picking transgender spokesperson Dylan Mulvaney. Two executives at Budweiser have been put on lead, leave, and Budweiser is panicking over how to get back customer loyalty. The White House has attempted to downplay the recent military withdrawal from Sudan, which left 16,000 Americans stranded in the civil war-torn country. National Security Spokesman uh, Admiral John Kirby stated, I want to push back on this idea that there's 16,000 Americans who want to get out. We don't have a firm estimate of the exact number of American citizens who are in Sudan. We think the vast majority of these American citizens in Sudan are dual nationals. These are people who grew up in Sudan, who have families there, who work there, business there, and don't want to leave. Despite Kirby's comments, he also admitted that the situation is not conducive and not safe to try to conduct some kind of larger military evacuation of American citizens. Actually, the violence is increasing and more dangerous today 
than it was just yesterday, he says. So he says definitively there are 16,000 Americans. Then he says we don't actually know the exact number. Then he says they want to stay in the Civil War-torn country where the violence is increasing every day. To me, this sounds like somebody like, took a hat and they're like randomly grabbing sentences out to compile a paragraph to talk to the media. Uh, we know how many there are, but we don't know how many there are. Uh, also, they want to stay, but we don't know why they would want to stay, and we have no way of getting them out. I mean, it was just complete word salad. Now, the Washington Post has claimed that alleged Pentagon leak documents show that ISIS may be reforming in Afghanistan. The alleged leaked Department of Defense documents claimed ISIS has been developing a cost-effective model for external operations that rely on resources from outside Afghanistan, operatives in target countries, and extensive facilitation networks. The report goes on to claim that ISIS is once again using Afghanistan as a place to plot attacks. The Taliban's spokesman, Zabihula Mujahid, did not take kindly to the publication of this report. He stated, spreading irresponsible and fabricated allegations at such a time is the work of intelligence circles that do not want Afghans to live in peace. The Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan enjoys complete control over the country and does not allow anyone to use the territory of Afghanistan against the security of another country, especially the sedition group ISIS. So, it's a good thing the United States taxpayers spent $3 trillion on a war just so ISIS could be just as strong or stronger and now plotting attacks against other countries once again. Robert Kennedy Jr., who is running for president, said just this week, we spent $8 trillion of U.S. taxpayer money in the Middle East. And what did the American taxpayer get for it? Nothing. They got nothing. Think how we could have used this money to change the country, he says. Stock indexes were red today. They were down by 1.5 to 2% on the day. Yikes. Uh, that's a lot for a single day. Gold and silver were barely positive, and Bitcoin was up over 3%. Alphabet, the parent company of Google and YouTube, posted gains well above expectations and announced that they will buy back $70 billion of stock. Now, wasn't this the company that just fired over 10,000 people because money was tight? I mean, it's crazy. They've got over $70 billion to buy back stocks, yet they're broke. Give me a break. First Republic Bank stock has dropped again, this time over 40% in a single day after it was leaked that they are losing billions and billions of dollars in customer deposits as people worry that First Republic Bank could be the next bank to fail. We learned today from leaked Ukrainian government documents that Ukraine's generals had planned a massive middle-of-the-night attack against Moscow, Russia, to mark the one-year anniversary of Russia attacking Ukraine. It took the U.S. CIA and the U.S. Pentagon working tirelessly with Ukraine to deter this attack, as worries of a nuclear retaliation were real and World War III was on the line had they gone through. Now, luckily, these generals listened and they didn't attack Moscow. I know this seems really unfair. People are going to say, Russia attacked them. Why can't they attack back? Because Russia is the one that's in control of this, right? And NATO doesn't really want to go to war with Russia. And so they're telling Ukraine, you can't actually attack within Russia, or you're going to get us all killed. But I, I get it that Ukraine wants to retaliate. Re Ukraine wants revenge. Ukraine wants to hurt Russia. I totally understand. But the CIA and the Pentagon were able to get them to back down. Now, yesterday I told you about Biden's new Marxist mortgage lending program that penalizes people with money and good credit in order to help people with bad credit and no money. Former Obama housing staffer David Stevens said this is one of the dumbest things he's ever seen come out of the White House. He said this won't help the poor. It will just make home ownership more expensive for the middle class. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think that this is going to help 
lower income and middle class people get a house by having bad credit? Or is this just going to penalize people with good credit that can actually afford a house? Let me know your thoughts down below. In the face of strict opposition from the United States, foreign, China's foreign minister has issued a bold statement regarding Taiwan. Here's what he said. The Taiwan problem is at the core of China's core interests. We will never back down in the face of any act that undermines China's sovereignty and security. Those who play with fire on the question of a Taiwan will burn themselves. Sadly, uh, I'm not sure where the world will go if China decides to attack Taiwan. Um, but right now, everything looks like China is gearing up to make an attack on the island of Taiwan. And France is saying, we're not going to get involved. So it could come down to a NATO battle, or it could come down to a United States versus China battle. At least that's what the U.S. Army is saying. Now, Casey and I are giving away $10,000 thanks to generous video sponsors. Uh, five of you are going to win $1,000 in cash. No small amount of money. But one of you, one of you is going to win $5,000. Life-changing money. And we're so excited to give that away at the end of the month. I'll make sure to leave a link down below. Now, before you go, I want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you stopping by today. Make sure to check out this super important video and get subscribed to the channel. There's a lot of places to get your news today, so I appreciate you stopping by and I will see you on the next video.